Oh, hi, sweet peas. Such a lovely day. Perfect for a staycation. I know a lot of us have been staying at home. Some of us have been going on little trips with our family, but I know I certainly miss all of you. And I miss sweet peas. Whether you can, whether you're staying home or you're going on a vacation, I know that you can have lots of fun with your family and keep learning and exploring and going on adventures using your imagination and whatever things you have at home or around you. Today we're going to read a book called Tilly's Staycation by Jillian Hibbs. Tilly's Staycation. Why can't we go on vacation? asked Tilly. Tariq is going to India. Rory is going to the ocean. Paris is going to Paris. Chanel is going to Florida. And Tim is going camping. We'll have just as much fun as everyone else, you'll see, Mom answered. Maybe even more. That night, Tilly went to have dinner with Paris. Her mom was packing a huge suitcase full of all the things they needed for their vacation. Back home, Tilly had a sneaky look to see if mom was packing the old suitcase they sometimes took to visit Granny. It was sitting on top of the chest of drawers gathering dust, just like it always did. If you've ever packed a suitcase before, shrug your shoulders. The next day, Tilly walked home from school with Tariq and his dad, who was, and his dad. Who's he talking to, whispered Tilly. The travel agent, replied Tariq. He's sorting out the flights for tomorrow. At home, the phone rang. Hello, Granny, Tilly sighed disappointedly. I thought you might have been the travel agent. Tilly was really down in the dumps. It's my vacation and I'm not doing anything at all, she sniffed. <laughs> but she couldn't help hoping that something exciting might happen. And she went to sleep with a little tingle in her toes. Wow, I wonder what she's dreaming about. The next morning, Tilly was allowed to have breakfast in mom's bed, just like she did on her birthday. Get your best adventuring clothes on, my little explorer. Mom smiled. We've got a bus to catch. When they got off the bus, Tilly was puzzled. Why have you brought me to the library? She asked. If you ever go to the library, wiggle your fingers. It was a hot day outside, but the library was cool and breezy and peaceful. Mom told Tilly stories of faraway places and marvelous people. They were worlds away, fighting dragons, sailing pirate ships, and meeting princesses. Hiding from her ferocious beasts, Then it was time to stop for a well-earned lunch in a top secret hideaway. Before discovering hidden treasure and rare sea creatures. At the market, they found a mermaid's mirror, 
a genie's lamp, and golden coins from distant lands. How had they ended up here? When they got home, Tilly was tired. Ah, I've got an idea, said Mom. Run around the apartment and collect all the sheets, towels, and blankets you can find. Hmm. I wonder what they'll do next. Ta-da! Mom had made the most beautiful tent that Tilly had ever seen. Welcome to our vacation home, Mom laughed. Inside the tent, they told stories all night. Tilly was happy. It had been a wonderful adventure. I can't wait to tell all my friends about my staycation. And she did. The end. Well, sweet peas, I hope you enjoyed that story. I encourage you to go searching around your house, see what pillows and blankets you can find, and build a fort to go on a magical adventure tonight. I love you all very much. Until next time.